Hey everyone, Stu from Ukulele Zen, part two of Good Night Ladies. Let's learn some variations for this ukulele chord solo. Hopefully you've watched part one, there's a link to it right up here. Click that card anytime when you wanna go through the basic version. Now, let's embellish it with a nice chord change. Good night, ladies. We're gonna put a passing chord in between G and D7. Good night, ladies. So what's happening there, I'm taking my G chord, I lift up the ring finger, slide these down, open one, open one, that diminished chord, G diminished chord, points to D7. So right there, that's very cool. That's the ain't she sweet sound. You've heard this in lots of old time blues, jazz, ragtime music. It's a common chord progression. All right, now, we're gonna add some picking, but first let's learn a variation for D7. Now you can play melody notes on top of D7 in a number of different ways. There are three notes that I'm adding. One of them is already in the chord, the open A string. Then we drop our ring finger right here. And you can slide it up to the, ring, to the third fret. Back down to the second fret. You don't have to use all the notes. You can just go open three. You can go open three, two, open. You follow what I'm doing? You can also slide it all kinds of things you can add. Next, when we get to the part, good night ladies, when we go from G to C, let's put another chord in between and two ways to play it. G, G7, C. All right, so that it would be a nice basic way to play it. Good night ladies. But here's an even cooler way. You take your G, G7, and now play your C chord and you're gonna add this note on top. See how I was playing some, there's a lot of ways to play C. You can play it like this, open, 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 three. Open, open, three, three with the first finger. I'm using the first finger so my pinky is free to reach up here to the seventh fret. Now this is all notated and you know available at a link down below if you'd like to support this channel and become a patron of this channel. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy all the videos at my channel, Ukulele Zen. Let's play this again. G, G7 to the C and then the high C. Good night, ladies. Yeah, there's an even cooler way. Check it out. Good night. Ladies. Ooh, I'm sticking another jazz chord in there. What it is is a F7 shape. You slid up here to the position which turns it into an A7 chord. Sixth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. So when we put this all together, we play G. We drop that F7 shape right here to play a G7. Look at how my index finger is right where it needs to be for that expanded C. We called it high C before. Now look, my pinky is right where it needs to be to form the A7 chord. Take each bit of what I'm sharing with you here and just develop it into vocabulary. That would be one rep. Then take your hand off and just do it again but make sure you put some space. I'd recommend that you put some space in between each attempt so you can really remember what you're doing and feel relaxed when you're doing it. That's why this channel is called Ukulele Zen. We like to keep things relaxed. Last, we're gonna do a turnaround lick, all right? We're gonna say goodnight, but we're gonna put this, you know, using those bluesy things. So what we have here are harmonized sixths. It's all based around the D shape. Putting my middle finger here, sixth fret, index fingers at the fifth fret. Pinch those two strings, just the third and the first string. And then slide it down two frets. Ooh, that's nice already. You could fill in the space. All right, go one fret at a time, or go two frets. Next, play two and two. Then open it open, and then land on that G chord. What you have here is a harmonized scale. Instead of just playing your 
adding a harmony note on the bottom. Sounds cool. And there's a version where I'm filling in the space in between. Anytime you have a chord progression moving from D7 to G, you can play. So I'm offering vocabulary for you. I hope you're enjoying this. If you're still watching, please leave a comment down below. Let me know you're enjoying this. If you have any questions about anything, and once again, give this video a thumbs up. So many ways, possibilities to play this. Let's try it out together. One, two, thanks for jamming with me. and I ended on a fancy G6 chord. Now, please watch this again, take what I did, rewind the video, you can always slow it down by clicking on that gear icon. Look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Check the links down below. Look forward to jamming with you another time soon. Take good care.